Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is going to be a reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Please remember to take what resonates and don't manifest the rest. All right, all right. Let's see what's going on here. What is going on in Pisces energy? Wow, that jumped right out. Ta-da, King of Wands. We have a Leo here and a Pisces. High Priestess and the Sun. So I feel like this is a great reveal. I don't know what that means yet, Pisces, but we will find out. A great reveal of something that you might have thought. Some kind of truth that's challenging you right now. Whether, like I said, you can reverse the roles if you need to. We have Aquarius and we have an Ace of Pentacles here. The star. Maybe you're the star. Maybe you're just now realizing you're the star. Most recent past. Nine of Wands. Hurt by a King of Cups. Possibly at work. It doesn't have to be, but I feel like somebody here may have worked with another person. And maybe the truth came out, because like I said, I'm getting some ta-da here. Like, like, it's out now, whatever that means. It's, it's been exposed. It's, it's out now. And the King of Wands is going after what he, she wants. In the immediate future, they will be met with resistance. Cancer energy. Somebody, somebody's definitely super duper jealous here. I don't know who this person is, but I do feel like that with the King of Cups and the King of Wands here, there might be two people involved. Yes, there is. There's the lovers. Um... Somebody was just in it for the for the swing. Somebody just in it for the for the passion. Whoever hurt the other person was just in it for a good time, not a long time. We will get more cards to find out who this energy is that's rushing in because it feels, yeah, factors affecting the situation. Somebody got breadcrumbed. And they're trying to figure out how they're going to have the strength to overcome this. Outside influence. Outside influence. Eight of Wands, a message coming in. Queen of Cups and confusion. So like I said, whoever this, this person is that's popping in right now is not this person from the past. But I think you're a little confused about... Either you, you're a little confused or they're a little confused about you, which could possibly very well be. Maybe they don't understand this connection. But they're still coming, Pisces. Hopes and fears. Now, either you're hoping or fearing this. I'm feeling control freak energy here. Especially with money. So it's either a hope or a fear. Bossing up. Somebody taking responsibility for their money. What is the final outcome here, Spirit? What's the final outcome? A choice. Ten of Wands, Five of Cups. 
So there's a choice to let something go here. To just let it go. To allow these... To drop the, the responsibility of carrying around all this grief. I feel like somebody needs to release some grief here and charge ahead into their future. It's this King of Wands. Could be you, Pisces. Let's see. What is this King of Wands about, Spirit? What is it? Let's go to the King of Cups. Who's this King of Cups? Judgment. Somebody's under harsh judgment right now, Pisces. Possibly because... They did love you. They might have just had their own way of showing it. But there's some serious jealousy here. And somebody wanted to win at all costs. So they may have they may have done something here that wasn't of their highest good. What is this King of Wands about, Spirit? What is this King of Wands about? Nine of Pentacles. The cold hard truth about Pisces. Ooh. An exposure of the Ten of Pentacles. Who the real McCoy is here. Oh, wow. Who's the real McCoy? What is that? Uh, that song. Will the real Slim Shady please stand up kind of energy here. <laughs> it's like, um, yeah, I feel like somebody was hiding who they truly were. And now they're like, ta-da, it's me. The truth. The challenge here is the truth and nothing but the truth the ace of swords a brand new understanding a brand new beginning about the truth whatever that might be for you the truth about the king of wands could be a leo who's a player who comes and goes the truth about this person has been exposed They good looking, but I feel like that might all be all they got going on for themselves right now. Ooh, like I said, harsh judgment. Whoever this King of Wands, King of Cups, whoever this person is, they are under judgment. They are under justice. They are getting the same thing that they put you through. Whatever they did here. They are experiencing it now. Nine of Swords, Eight of Swords, and the High Priestess. You can feel this on an energetic level, Pisces. Because you're energetically attached. This could be a twin flamey thingy. <coughs> so they feel like they have no choice but to come in because they're stressed and stuck and they now know you are. So their intuition is telling them to move and they don't know how they're gonna move. They don't even know how they're gonna move. They're going through some shiznit. We have the uh, fool, the empress, and the two of pentacles. Like I said, this person could be taking everything they had because they risked this whole situation. They risked their whole future on this person. And you are energetically feeling them, Pisces, because you, you feel everything. Reaping what they sown very very quickly I might add this is like happening to this person all at once 
Eight of Wands and the Four of Swords. So regardless of how it may seem, this is a healing. This is a healing of the masculine. Because I feel like they were ego driven. And due to their ego, they may have married someone because of their status. Six of Pentacles and the Star. They married somebody because of their status. They didn't marry for love. They married for money, for fame, for glory. And I don't think they got any of it. So what is this choice, Spirit? What is this choice at the end of this reading? So... I'm going, I'm going to say to whoever you are out there, just because you, you screwed yourself here in this position, don't come back to Pisces because Pisces will love you and forgive you and you'll just do it again because you obviously you don't have any respect for this Pisces. And, and, and Pisces is not going to settle for chump change. You're going to find out the truth about all of this, Pisces. You're going to find out the truth about this King of Cups. King of Wands. And yes, the truth may be disappointing. Maybe they weren't what they said they were. Maybe they were just putting on a front and making it seem like they were um, rich or well off or whatever the case may be and the money belonged to the spouse, not them. They married this person for the money. Now they're finding out that you were there, you were supposed to be their, um, their blessing all along and they know that if they come back around they're going to have competition over the attention that you get world card if they come in and try to balance this out which they don't know if you're going to do that or not but they are going to come tell you the truth Pisces it could be a Virgo um who was married to Queen of Pentacles, Empress. Like I said, there's the Queen of Wands. So I do feel like you you were this you were supposed to be this person's match. But instead of going with you and following the stars, they went with greed. And they married for money. And now that's all falling apart. Now that's all becoming irrelevant at this point. They could have had a, a child with this person. And now there's courts involved. So now they're really hating it. Pisces make them wait. Don't just jump back into a situation with this person. Make them wait, make them prove their their love, their loyalty, and all that. Because this is this is this is somebody who thinks you're a chump. Who thinks that you're just gonna settle for a second. You ain't never second, babies. You ain't ne you're always first. And if somebody can't recognize that the first time around, I don't know about second chances. Alright? Like I said, this main male's going to court. I knew it. Because they made a huge mistake here. They married somebody for money. Or because it was more convenient on their wallet. Yeah, you find out that that wasn't such a good idea after all. Huh? Oh. Oh. All right, so that just got a little complicated. 
it looks like they're whoever this father is who may have held them in high regard maybe even given them a job took everything away from them may have even put them in jail they may have even done a little bit of time here Pisces and now they're going to send a message to you. After all of this. They playing with fire. They definitely playing with fire. Let's get some love oracles here. I don't, I don't know if you're going to respond to this person, if you're going to talk to this person. I think this person stresses you out, Pisces. Like I said, they come. It could be family. It could be an ex. I don't know who this person is, but they just, they going through a divorce. And they ain't got no job. Might have even gotten locked up. Karma's a real thing, guys. It really is. It, it's, it's a real thing. Stability, security, growth, endurance, flexibility, looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, and want to make new memories. Passion, insane chemistry, like each other, equally and having fun so like I said I do believe this person's going to come back in Pisces but they're not going to be the same person they were when you knew them is there passion and chemistry between the two of you absolutely there always has been but they made a huge mistake here and they know it they know it now it's like oh I, I screwed up I screwed up really bad here I built something with the wrong person and now the wrong person is taking that away from me. That's how this works. Date. So this person is going to ask you out on a date, Pisces, and they are your twin flame. Paradise. So you can do this any way that you like. I'm not going to tell you how to do this because it will lead to something beautiful. But I feel like this person is your twin flame. They're the one that catalyzed you. And you're just now getting stable from that. And now they want to come back into your life and create paradise on earth with you. Alrighty then. Believe that when I see it. <laughs> Kidding my baby sharks. Let's get some advices from Isis. Pisces. <laughs> Isis. Ooh, that looks like a new one. This one says proper burial of burial for freedom. And no, it's not a new one. I wish I'd get a new one. Chariot of Ascension Merkaba. Okay, so that's that's what a lot of this has to do with is what what's going on in your life as as you're ascending. I think that whatever is coming towards you in the immediate future, you already know it's coming and you're stressing about it before it even gets here. Stop it. Don't stress don't borrow sorrows from tomorrow. My mom used to say that. This is proper burial for freedom. There is nothing to be gained and everything to be lost by trying to hold on to that which no longer serves us. Osiris, Lord of the dead, guide you now to release that which no longer needs to be a part of your life so that you may be free. I want to be free. The Dark Mysteries The Dark Goddess calls you to her chamber her inner chamber where she holds a test and a gift for you 
This test is your willingness to meet and release the fears within that have been secretly building, holding you back. The gift is freedom, peace, opportunity, and prosperity in all forms. Will it, you accept her call? Your time for deeper in, initiation is here. So energetically, your Merkaba is getting lighter. It's getting more translucent. And everybody sees it, including this person. And they now know the mistake they made. But this is a test. Stay true and be in your power, Pisces. You are a sovereign divine being. And this is a test. Do not settle for less than you deserve. Do not bring somebody back into your life that does not deserve to be there, Pisces. 2332. Yeah, it's the only number I'm getting out of this, but um, yeah. So those are your messages, my baby sharks. I love you guys. Please remember to press the like button, subscribe, and share, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye for now.